ladies and gentlemen, this brings us to our next bout of the evening. Introducing first out of the red corner, Dathan Lloyd. Mr. Dathan Lloyd making his way to the cage for this next bout, which takes place at 185 pounds. It is an MMA fight, three two-minute rounds. Just watch the lighter weight gentlemen at 125 with their speed and technical prowess. As much as I'm a fan of that, I also love the 185-pound division because that's where you start seeing the true one-punch knockout power. 185 pounds, uh, some of the most dynamic strength and conditioned athletes out there. These guys are in a weight class where true athleticism really comes in nicely. Debut fight for Mr. Lloyd, representing high altitude martial arts. Fighting out of the blue corner, Justice Boatwright. Mr. Justice Boatwright making his way to the cage next. This will be a fight debut for him. A couple of debut fighters, so I guess somebody's O must go. Making the solo walk is Mr. Boatwright. Here comes his corner man catching up. On our tail of the tape here, we have Mr. Lloyd, 26 years old. Same for Mr. Boatwright. They're close in height. Lloyd at 6'1", Boatwright at 6'3". They both made the weight cut off. That's why they're here in the cage this evening. As we alluded to earlier, it is a debut fight for both fighters. And it's MMA style for Lloyd versus wrestler style for Boatwright. Both guys looking pretty well conditioned in there this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an elimination MMA bout scheduled for three three-minute rounds in the middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the Leathernecks heating and cooling red corner. He is a mixed martial artist standing six foot one inches tall. He weighed in at 185.6 pounds with team elevation 3D MMA out of Honolulu, Hawaii. Representing family members in the U.S. Army, Dathan Lloyd! <laughs> Fighting out of the Estrella Jalisco blue corner. He is a wrestler standing six foot three inches tall. He weighed in at 185.4 pounds with American Elite out of Edmond, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, Justice Boatwright! Come on over, sir. Over here, please. Come on, young man. Gentlemen, you've had your final instructions. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Touch them up. Back to your corners, please. Mr. Dathan Lloyd, a representative of 3D Martial Arts. And former UFC fighter Brandon Ruckus Thatch in his corner this evening. Quite the luminary in attendance. Boatwright wears the blue gloves. 
Lloyd wears the red gloves, and Boatwright just extending that left hand, trying to keep some distance. As the wrestler, maybe not favoring the striking game, just trying to keep some distance until he can set up his wrestling attack. And as I say that, it's Lloyd that initiates the takedown. Wow. Looking to take the back is Lloyd. Good job turning in by Boatwright. Lloyd trying to come over the top, wants to secure back control, but only has one hook in. Boatwright, good job with his wrestling, secured hip control, able to turn Lloyd down flat on his back. Good scramble for position here, and Boatwright immediately looking to improve position by way of jumping past guard into half guard. But right, almost full mount. Hasn't quite brought that right leg all the way through yet. And able to get the turn is Lloyd, wow. A lot of strength in that move, nicely done. And Boatwright comes up smiling, I like it. Corner of Lloyd calling for the leg kicks. Just barely misses with the uppercut, does Lloyd. And Boatwright again ducks his head down. Going to have to be wary of that. Couple of solid shots there for Lloyd. Then Lloyd initiates the clinch. Corner Lloyd calling for knees to the legs. Had a solid knee up to the body, did Lloyd. Only 10 seconds left. Looks like we're going to get a second round. Elimination division fighters here, so you cannot knee to the head. That's why you didn't see Lloyd bring that knee up to the head when he had a, a position where that would have been easy to do. In the pro division, that would have been okay. But not here, not so for the amateurs. Got the takedown there with Lloyd working nicely from the top, but wrestling a boat ride came into play and he was able to get the turn eventually on this. Definitely have to say that Lloyd was the one doing more pressuring during the first round. I think Lloyd is just trying to keep it on the feet because he's very confident in his striking over boat right. Here's where boat right started to work for the turn. Referee Oscar Martinez makes sure everybody's got a mouthpiece in. Don't want any teeth being spit out. No chicklets in the cage this evening, please. Nice job with the leg kick. Turns it into a sweep. And referee's going to say that was a strike to the back of the head. So Lloyd is going to lose position on that. He had a dominant position on top on the ground. They're going to start them both from standing. Not sure if it's a warning or a point taken. Only a warning. Good vision by Lloyd. Really seems to be able to read the striking of boat right nicely. What kinds of things is it the Lloyd might be seeing? 
that allows him to read that strike so easily. I think Bo Wright is uh, overreaching for the striking. He's not he's not really setting it up. He's just throwing whatever. Well, I can say you and Bo Wright's corner agree because Bo Wright's corner a couple times. I've heard him yell, don't reach, don't reach. Lloyd just wants to stand and bang. He does. Yes, he does indeed. And why not with the kind of success that he's had so far? Oh, solid knee. That hurt. Boatwright took a big breath on the separation, and his hands came way down. Corner Lloyd saying, keep chop the leg, and he does exactly that. And it had good effect there on that leg kick. Definitely messing with the ability of Boatwright to have good footwork or to, excuse me, to uh, set up a decent shot now. Start losing the power in that leg or it starts to even cramp up and that'll mess up your entire game plan. Nice uppercut by Boatwright though. Oh, uh, hands way down for Boatwright. Not sure if it's purely conditioning or some of the pain from the strikes that he's received, but Boatwright looking less comfortable than he did in round one, that's for sure. About 45 seconds left. Having listed himself as a wrestler, you'd think this is the position the Boatwright would want to be in. Try to work to set up the takedown. As a generalization, you'd say easier to get takedowns off the cage than in the middle of the cage. Lloyd going to work. Hard shots, good job combining rights and lefts. Knee to the body, knee to the body. Lloyd's got 10 seconds left to work. Round three and deep breaths from everybody as they go back to their corners. Referee Oscar Martinez checking on Boatwright, making sure he's still within the fight. He gives a nod of ascension, says, yes, I'm ready to go. So here on the replay, we're seeing Lloyd with his back against the cage. You'd think that's where Boatwright would have wanted it, trying to work his wrestling game, but I think maybe just a little bit tired. What do you say? I think uh, Boatwright needs to uh, set up his takedowns with his strikes. He's either striking and then not, not going for the takedown or he's just going for a takedown. And it's pretty obvious. Yeah, I think Lloyd able to see that coming and has a good read on it. All right, round number three. Touch of gloves for sportsmanship, then they'll punch each other in the face. Corner Boatwright saying, you got a box. So that's exactly what you were saying. You got to move your hands and get some strikes in there in order to set up your takedowns. Lloyd, by far his most effective strikes of the evening. Lines up his punches so nothing goes to the back of the head. And there we go for the finish by way of ground and pound. Congratulations, Mr. Lloyd, going home with the victory. Doc Alex in, taking a look at the downed boat right. I believe he's okay, just catching his breath after a hard battle. Back on his feet, good to see, and with a smile. I like that too. Boatwright's pretty gassed out there. Super gassed out. <laughs> Oh, 
On the replay, you see the finish there. Good series of ground and pound strikes. And what I like by Lloyd is how he was watching his strikes. He'd been warned already for a back of the head strike. Made sure that he didn't have anything that was illegal. And because of it, garnered himself the victory. Let's take it up to Stewie for the official time. Ladies and gentlemen, rescue Oscar Martinez called a stop to this fight. 36 seconds into the third round, declaring your winner by TKO, Jason Lloyd! Hey, 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 hey,